All right, so everything I read in April, starting off The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. I give this book four stars. Um, pretty cute, easy romance read. Most romances are probably going to get like a three or a four from me, unless it's really well done. So this one, cute, um, not really memorable, um, but yeah, that's, that's my first read of April. And then I read Sharp Objects by um, Jillian Flynn, Gillian, Jillian, um, four stars. Um, I love, um, uh, what's that book by Jillian Flynn? Uh, Gone Girl. <laughs> I loved Gone Girl. So I was like, let me check out Sharp Objects. Sharp Objects, if like Gone Girl was weird and disturbing too, but like Sharp Objects, that's a dis probably the most disturbing book I've ever read. Um, so yeah, like viewer discretion advised for that one. Then I read A Short Walk Through a Wide World um, by Douglas Westerbeck which I would give four and a half stars overall. It's a very like lovely, interesting story. Like this woman can't stay in like one place longer than X amount of time. So she just has to like wander the world. So it's really interesting to see how she navigates that. Um, and I would definitely read that again. Then I read Murder Road by Simone St. James. Um, I would give this book four stars. Simone St. James, she knows how to make an atmospheric spooky story that makes me be like, what the heck? And I usually don't like supernatural type things, but the way that she writes these books, I'm just like invested. Um, so that's a good one to check out. Then I read The Girl from Widow Hills by Megan Miranda. Uh, I gave this one three and a half stars. I felt like it was a little rushed and a little unfinished, but um, I'm on a, I was on a real Megan Miranda kick, so I just was kind of, maybe I was rushing it. Um, maybe it's worth a reread for that one. Then I read Drunk on Love by Jasmine Gilleroy. Uh, which I gave four stars. Um, you know, it's a fun little cute story, like set in wine country. So it's kind of like, ooh, springtime read. Um, yeah, fun little cute one. Then I read Such a Quiet Place by Megan Miranda. Um, and I gave this book four stars. This book is very much suburbia and like the crimes of suburbia. So if you're interested in that, that's a good one to check out. Then I read Happily Never After by Lynn Painter. Uh, three stars. It was kind of predictable, but you know, fun and cute. A little cutesy story. Then I reread Take a Hint, Danny Brown. So, you know, go through my Brown sisters. And this is my first reread of this one, which I think the first time I read it, I gave it four stars. I would probably keep it at four stars. Um, it pretty much holds up from the first time I read it. Um, no real complaints with this story. Then I read Kill For Me, Kill For You by Steve Cavanaugh, which I gave four stars. Um, I like the premise of this book. Um, if, go read the plot of the book and you'll be like, that sounds interesting. And it is interesting, but there's two plot twists in this story. The first plot twist, yes. Could have kept it there. The second one, we're done. Um, why? So, you know, maybe three and a half stars, but you know, interesting story. Then I read Expiration Dates by Rebecca Surley. I gave this book four stars. I was kind of hesitant to read this book because some of her other books I like and then some of them I don't like so it's kind of like eh. this was a good one I really enjoyed the relationship slash friendship in this book so then I read funny story by Emily Henry Emily Henry anytime I see her name I'm like yes let's go so I usually don't buy a book until I've already read it and loved it but I said Emily Henry I'm going to Barnes and Noble day one and I'm buying your book and you know what four and a half stars you did it again I love how she writes the characters in this were interesting the plot was interesting and I think I need to reread it again because um, that was April and I'm making this in August so maybe it's time 
And then the last book of April was The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda. Uh, I gave this book four stars. It wasn't my favorite from her, um, but I enjoyed like the small town setting and there was a lot of rich versus poor drama. Um, so that's always kind of fun to follow um, the little rift between the two. So that's everything I read in April.